Okay, uh, so what I have here is actually, first let me say this, I've never actually done an unboxing video or anything like it before, so I'm going to do this little unboxing. Since this is my first, as an adult, RC car, I'm going to take it and unbox it. So, let's see here. get rid of that toss it to the ground okay so what this is is a uh, Traxxas Boss 302 now this is the one with the more powerful brushless um, vittle uh, this is Valion maybe brushless power system so this is brushless so it should be a lot faster. This is the one that says it goes up to 50 miles an hour if I put a lipo in it. I don't have a lipo. Um, all of the different things, the specs and all of the stuff from the back of the box, yada yada. Alright, let's get down to it. More stuff to cut open. Okay. So, first thing is, should, alright, just the batteries in here, it feels like the battery or this might be actually the charger. I know all of you ex-boy scouts like myself I'm supposed to be cutting away from myself not towards me and yep here's the charger stick that back in the box because I when I was at the hobby shop that I got this from I got one of these things this is a uh, quick charger It'll charge up this battery in 35 minutes. I'm like, heck yeah. Okay. So, let's see. My goodness, there's a lot of stuff in here. Alright, so. This must be the transmitter. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else in the box. Let's take the actual car. Slide that off to the side for a quick second. Alright. Pretty decent sized transmitter. Never actually, or haven't had one of these in a while, so don't uh I gotta check it out all right now I won't actually be able to run this because I didn't get any daggone batteries before I started this So, you know, yeah, who, who reads that stuff? Oh, a little sales brochure. Ooh, here's all the information about my particular model. That's pretty cool. I'll take a look at this in a little bit. And, all right, so there's some extra body clips and a, this is the gear for the motor. Uh, oh, no, this is a high speed pinion gear. So which will allow it to reach that 50 miles per hour. I don't know if I had that. And 
the gear comes with a set screw and some body clips, extra body clips. Looks like it has some on there already. Tools. Who doesn't love tools? So I guess these are probably for some of these, the gears around the, the car. These are probably for the wheels and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't know. I'm not a pro at this yet. Oh, there's my phone. So we have some stickers, looks like. They can probably go on the body. Yep. Now, one of the things I am going to do is take the quick charger out of the box and I'm going to plug the battery onto the quick charger and charge it. Nothing really else in there. So I'm going to stick this stuff back into the bag. Actually, I'll keep this out so I can read that in a little bit. All of these things I'll put back. And move it out of the way. I can check the alright so Alright, uh... Just off the bat, before I even take the body off and really look at it, one thing I noticed, it's a little heavier than I thought it would be. Again, I haven't uh, done anything with RC in quite a while. Well, I take that back, with RC cars in quite a while. So, remove the battery, and let's take this off of here and see what it says. Basic operation, blah, blah, blah. I can't hook it up right now anyway, so. All right. Wow. The, um, the suspension is pretty awesome on this. I mean, just like uh, F1 inspired type stuff. They've got this same sort of suspension. It's pretty cool. All right, so I guess the batteries go down in here or the battery in this case I could get this open ah, probably goes the other way alright don't laugh at me really i am been out of this for a while hmm. I don't know how you would pass it through though but whatever I'll figure it out so, it's pretty cool so far. Doesn't look like the, the tires will mark anything up. I kind of like those uh, wheels. I don't like saying rims because they're not rims. They're actually wheels. Um, styrofoam bumper up front. Suspension, man, is pretty cool. I don't... Uh, the whole undercarriage is plastic but I'm sure I could probably find some aftermarket you know aluminum or whatever for that because I know I feel like I'm probably going to beat this up steering servo pretty well protected up in there all right I know I'm probably destroying it other people looking at this video right now are probably like, oh. all right it's got this dual bay, I guess, if I wanted to stick a second one, second battery in there. And the posts and everything for the body. Speaking of which, take the body out of the plastic. And I don't know what the exact color is for this body, but it's like a midnight blue, pearlescent midnight blue type deal. I don't think I'll put the Traxxas things on it. 
necessarily. But uh I think that's pretty pretty hot right there. Gonna put the pins in. And I'll put the other pins away. Now I really am upset that I don't have <clears throat> oh, not that one. Now I'm upset that one, the battery isn't charged. And two, I don't have batteries for the transmitter. I don't quite know. I didn't want to put the pointy end onto the white bit of paint there. And these don't spin or anything. So I figure if the loop is on that side, I'll be less upset if something happens to it. All right. That's pretty cool. Uh, so other than the, the, the other impressions, I mean, it looks pretty sturdy. Hopefully I won't be able to jack it up too bad right away, and it'll last a little while. Um, sitting it down, it looks pretty, pretty spot on and perfect. Hope you guys can get a decent look at that. I'm go ahead and move the car on right out and kind of bring it into focus a little better. But. I think it looks pretty good. All in all, I'm pretty happy with my purchase. Uh, speaking of purchase, this was $2.99 at my local hobby shop. Um, yeah, it came with everything ready to run or ready to race, as they said. And then I picked up this, uh, like I said, the, the uh, fast charger. And it's supposed to charge in 35 minutes. Looking over, I can't see the light, the indicator on the charger now. But um, I'm pretty happy. Now we will just see what happens once I uh, get the get some batteries for the transmitter, and I'll report back later. All right. Thanks for watching.